tall, dark, handsome man who's just the most brilliant director in the whole world. No, I mean Sanders. Thanks a lot. I ended up with you the whole time. Yeah, I uh, bought this wig at a sale for Cinderella to wear, but it's pretty hard to get quality merchandise with no funds. Well, we're going to get your mind off your troubles. Him has tweaked his little mask. Go ahead, take a bite. Tell me how you like it. Just ate lunch. But it's perfect this time. Go ahead, take a bite. Tell me how you like it. You need Go ahead, you spit up. Well? He's more salt. What? Just a little bland, that's all. <coughs> He's more salt, he says. This dish happens to be perfect just the way it is. Well, you don't want my opinion, then why'd you ask for it? I hope he's happy, Sanders. You have probably broken his heart for your repair. Okay, look. The dish is perfect. Don't change a thing. You're just saying that. No, 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 no. Really, it's the most delicious morsel I've ever tasted. <coughs> really? Yes. Steve Hedman, I told you you created a masterpiece dish. Oh, thank you, Sanders. My dish is ready now for the opening night dinner. Come on, Herman, let's go. Oh, happy day, happy day. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sanders. Well, what do you think? It's hideous. That's what I was afraid of. Sanders, can I talk to you for a minute? Only for him to tell me it was in the envelope you brought here earlier. Envelope? Oh, that envelope. No, it's not about the envelope. I'm just a little busy right now. But I think this is something you need to hear. Why so serious? Give me that back, get it? I'm afraid so. <clears throat> okay. I'm sitting. Shoot. Sanders, I know what happened to your Cinderella with it. Yeah, so do I. It's been cut. But I know why it's been cut. How do you know? That's not important now. In fact, is I know why your money's been taken away. Alright, I'm listening. Well, it seems your boss. He's planning to take a little trip. <coughs> My boss, Miss Briggs. And that Bonnie woman. They're both planning to take a little trip. And what does this have to do with my budget being cut? It seems they had to get money from somewhere. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you saying Miss Briggs and Bonnie took money from my play to take a trip? A two week cruise. Two week cruise? How do you know all this? Well, I heard, I overheard them talking when I came back after a box of markers. I heard everything and I had excellent hearing. <coughs> You must be mistaken. You have to be mistaken. Miss Briggs wanted to do something like this. I was saying the same thing if I had heard with my own two ears. Mrs. Briggs told Bonnie, and I quote, Don't worry, I'm sure Sanders is trying to think. And then she says, If we're going to cut the budget, we need to make sure to get our money's worth. And then Bonnie says, Okay, the cruise it is. We need to make sure to keep these pamphlets in, or Sanders might put two and two together. Pamphlets? I swiped them so you wouldn't think I was making the whole thing up. It's true. How could they do this to me? I am hurt beyond repair. My heart can't take one more ounce of this deceit. I can't handle knowing one more thing that those liars have proclaim. So what else do you hear? Well, <laughs> let's see. Something about how they deserved this vacation, and they didn't care if they had to take all your money. They did? I'm trying to remember everything. <coughs> Something to the fact that they were cut your budget 90% if you meant taking this trip. They did? And they didn't care about your dumb Cinderella show. Dumb? Something like that. This is the last drop, Pepper. I won't stand. I leave by and let them get away with this. Well, do you, Sanders? Quit? Of course I'll quit. I can't work with someone who, with whom I can't trust. I'm sorry I had to be the one to break bad news to you, Sanders. It's okay, Pepper. It's better I find out now than going with this little charade they're playing. The more I think about it, the matter I become. Now I'm just showing fall. That would show them. <laughs> Wait. That's it. I just had an evil idea that I should allow to slip right on through my brain. What do you mean, Sanders? All right. They cut my budget by 80% and expect me to put on a quality show, right? That's right, but... So, what if we have just enough money to put on a mediocre show? Or better yet, a terrible show? What kind of wicked thoughts do you have going through that head of yours, Sanders? I've just decided I won't take this little setback lying down. Before I give my resignation, I'm going to give the theater a show that they will never forget. But how will you give them a show they'll never forget without a budget? Right. 
if they want a low budget show, then I'll give them a low budget show. But I'm gonna need some help. You can count me in. What about uh, some of your volunteers? Do you think that they will like a part you like? But standards, they've never acted before. Right, no acting experience mm -hmm. is required. So it'll be cheap. Hey. Yeah, that's it, that should give it a nice low budget look. You mean you want the show to look low budget? Yeah, why should I care? I'm getting out of here anyway. Yoo-hoo, anybody home? I'm <laughs> sure my guys are legit. Great, we have an emergency meeting. There you are. Capri, what could you possibly be doing here? Why, is that the way you talk to your favorite theater critic? Favorite critic? That's contradiction in terms. How do you do? I'm Teresa, the drummer. You want to see with me? I've heard of you, but I'm not so sure I like you. You always say mean things about my friend's place. I call it as I see it, that's all. When his beautiful Beauty and the Beast sold out to an enthusiastic crowd, you called it a sad attempt. And his Little Mermaid, when it also sold out to an enthusiastic crowd, you said, it, and I quote, it was the most miserable endeavor at an adaptation of the classic tale you had ever seen. You've had nothing to say, nothing good to say about my friend's place. Who's she, your agent? Just a friend who cares. Seems it's becoming harder and harder to find these days. Oh, and Sunders, I can't wait to see some of just your finest creation so far. Ha! Huh, what would you know about good theater? Sunders, would you please explain to this <laughs> I may be just a volunteer, but at least I don't go around ruining other people's reputations. And Sunders, it's a great show for me to first look at the So then, I'm going to speak this for you. Sure. So what can I do for you, Frank? I was looking for Miss Briggs. Is she here? What do you want with her? Are you on this little scheme they're pulling? Scheme? Pepper! Don't say anything you'll regret. I'm sorry, Miss Briggs isn't here right now. Very well. Tell them the neighbors I'll stop by a little later. That's right. Just you wait, Mr. High and Mighty. You better be ready to write something encouraging in that little call of yours. Remember, Pepper, this is one show which we don't write. One is right and easy positive. That's right. You're going to direct your first bad show, and I'm going to help. No one messes with this director and gets away with it. Take my money, will they? Sneak off on a two-week cruise, will they? But who will have the last laugh? I will. That's who. Get it on the phone with all your friends. We need to have a special meeting tonight. I want that ahead of you. I shall return. I wonder what time it is.